Good night, all kings and queens, all gods and goddesses, all beautiful people. I am Be Floss to God, and tonight I just want to share another successful manifestation story on how I manifested these three books right here by Neville Goddard, right? Now, back in March of this year, March 2020, right? At the time, I had no income, and I wanted to own a book by Neville Goddard, right? Now, we had no income, but I knew the law. So, what I did was I used my imagination to live in the wish fulfilled, right? And to manifest owning this book by Neville Goddard, right? So, what I basically did was I did, I did some affirmations, giving thanks that I had already owned this book by Neville Goddard, right? And feeling the thrill and the wish fulfilled, right? And I did this in one interval, right? I did this in one interval and just gave thanks and just dropped it and totally forgot all about it, right? Because at that time too, I wasn't in desperate need for the book, right? Because I had other goals, important goals that I still was more focused on, right? So this wasn't really a necessity for me to own this book, right? So I just set the intention, you know, if it, if it came, it came. I set the intention, dropped it, totally forgot all about it, right? And within six months, I received a message from one of my um, Facebook friends. Her name is Armony. Y'all can check out her YouTube channel as well. Manifest with Armony. A-R-M-I-N-E. Manifest with Armony, right? Around July, she had messaged me one night on Facebook. Right, and we were basically talking about Neville Goddard, and I remember she had asked me if I had owned any books by Neville, right? And I told her no. So she said she was getting, she was looking to um get a couple books by Neville Goddard for herself, and she would include me as well, right? And when she told me that, I was thankful, but at that time I still didn't remember set um about setting the intention um for the book. Right, it was only like afterwards, a couple of weeks afterwards, that you know, it, then it clicked, right? Because they had dropped it and totally forgot all about it. They dropped the seed, planted it, and just totally forgot all about it, right? So she told me she would get a couple books for me as well, you know, and they not only gave thanks to the universe for allowing this to happen and, and bringing it all about successfully, but for her as well, you know, taking her time out to do it. Because the bridge of incidents was her messaging, her sending me the message on Facebook, right? And she was chosen to play the role. This was the role she had to play in order to bring about my manifestation successfully, right? All things are one. We're all connected, right? And the higher intelligence, the infinite intelligence just has means and ways that we know not of to make things happen. Right? And rearrange things in the most perfect, loving way that we can get our manifestations. Right? Now, some of you might be saying, well, you did it. I did the, I did the, um, I did the art once and I didn't persist in it, yet it manifested. No, I didn't persist using the technique over and over, like every single day. I did it once with intense, with intensity. Right? But the persistence was not me actually doing the act. The persistence was me living as though the wish were, was already fulfilled. Right? Because they had no worries or, or doubts around the, um, the situation. Right? I just did it and dropped it. I wasn't worrying or doubting if it would come or not. So I was persistently still living in the, in the wish um, fulfilled. Right? And it came about, it came about at the right time. Within um, six months, within six months was when it started to ripe and, and the flower started to blossom, right? Now around September was when they um, went to collect the books because, you know, the COVID, the whole COVID pandemic and that sort of stuff was going on. So, you know, when it comes to like posting and people getting mail and stuff, you know, there would be a lot of delays. So around September was when they... Was when they got to um collect the books, right? 
So that is how I manifested. And the thing is, I set the intention for, for just the book. And the bonus, I got three books as a bonus. You know, so I give thanks to the universe. And I give thanks also to Harmony. You know, for playing her role perfectly. You know, she's such a beautiful soul as well. And I give thanks. And as I said before, you can subscribe to her channel as well. Manifest with Harmony. A-R-M-I-N-E. Right? So I just wanted to share this success story. On how I manifested these books by Neville Goddard. Right? And just like Neville too, I am from Barbados. Right? And when it comes to books like these, you know, books that will help you to grow and evolve as a person and to, to open up your eyes and to wake up the masses, you know, books like these, you won't really find them down here. You know? They're scarce, man. Not even in the library. Not even in the library, you'll find these books down here. Right? Because Barbados now has a population of, say, about 600, sorry, 200 and 270,000 people. You know, Barbados is a very small island. And you know, they don't really want, with the very few people that we have, they don't want people to wake up. They don't want people waking up. They don't want people to know the truth. Right? So they, they try their best and they do their best to keep certain things hidden. But, you know, the truth will always reveal itself to who's open to it. Right? Every seed has its own appointed hour. It ripens and it flowers. If it be long, well then wait for it is sure. And it will not be late. And that is a quote by Neville. Right? One of his most famous quotes. Right, so I just wanted to share this successful um, manifestation story on how I manifested these three books by Neville Goddard. And I just want to send love, peace, joy, prosperity and abundance to everybody as usual. If you haven't subscribed, feel free to subscribe and click the notification bell for more videos because I will have more successful manifestation stories to share. Alright, so with that being said, I am Be Floss to God. Love. And peace. And one love to all.